welcome students today we are going to study photochemistry of alkenes and the first part is geometrical isomerization which uh, we have already done earlier and today in this uh, video lecture we will be studying cyclization reactions and rearrangement reactions of alkenes so first let us begin with the cyclization reactions alkene gives two types of cyclization reactions concerted cycloaddition reactions and non-concerted cycloaddition reactions. Inter and intramolecular cycloaddition reactions of alkenes can be taught by triplet sensitizer and are therefore often accompanied by cis-trans isomerization. Most simple alkenes have high triplet energy to be sensitized efficiently by organic sensitizer and mercury sensitization in many cases cause intramolecular fragmentation or rearrangement rather than intermolecular cyclic addition. The dimerization of cyclic alkenes with 3, 4 or 5 membered rings can be sensitized with high energy organic sensitizers such as acetone. Dimerization process involves the generation of an excited straight triplet molecule which subsequently reacts with a ground state polyethylene molecule. Now let us study an example that is acetone sensitized photodimerization of norboronine. The process involves the generation of an excited triplet molecule of acetone which reacts with a ground state polyphene molecule. So here is a reaction showing this. Norboronine, you can see. This is acetone sensitized photodimerization. So in the first part, there will be generation of an excited state triplet molecule of acetone. So acetone on irradiation will form excited straight triplet molecule and this excited straight triplet molecule will react with the ground state olefine molecule and the product dimer is formed. The next example is the photoisomerization of norbornadine to quadricycline. There may be an intramolecular reaction between two properly situated double bonds in a molecule yielding an isomeric substance. The photoisomerization of norbornadiene to quadricycline occurs on irradiation. So here is the reaction showing this norbornadiene on irradiation. Excited triplet state is formed. ISC that is inter-system crossing results and a triplet excited state is formed. This triplet excited state forms quadricycline. Next is the cyclization a reaction of alkenes. So here we have taken the example of cyclopropene. Again, and this is acetone sensitized dimerization or cyclization, and uh, cyclo cyclopropene in presence of acetone. Gives, forms two dimers that is trans dimer and cis dimer. One more example that is cyclization uh, reaction 1,6 diene. So as you can see by the help of arrows you can understand 1,6 diene. Again the same acetone sensitized cyclization is taking place. A biradical is formed and which uh, on cyclization it's the product. So these were some examples. Now let us study the photochemistry of butadiene. Butadiene exists in solution as a mixture of S trans and S cis that is S trans 95% and S cis 5% conformers. Irradiation of butadiene promotes an electron from site 2 to site 3 
five five star transition is taking place which results in the increased bonding between c2 and c3 at the expense of c1 c2 and c3 c4 or we can say the lowest excited states of s trans and s cis butadiene should exhibit still a larger barriers to rotation about the c2 c3 bond because of its double bond character thus conformational character of butadienes are retained in the excited states direct irradiation of a butadiene yields a cyclobutene and bicyclobutane so here you can see the reactions a mixture of uh, S trans and S cis butadiene on irradiation forming cyclobutene and bicyclobutene. The formation of these products occurs directly from the S1 state of uh, butadiene. S cis butadiene is the precursor of cyclobutene, while the S trans butadiene gives rise to bicyclobutene. Butane. So here both the reactions are written. You can see in the first reaction, S cis butadiene on irradiation is one state is formed, and which uh, gives cyclobutene. And the next reaction, S trans butadiene on irradiation is one state is formed, and which gives rise to bicyclobutene. The photochemistry of the T1 states of butadienes has been investigated through energy transfer from triplet state sensitizers, benzophenone or benzyl. A mixture of three dimers, first, second and third is obtained on sensitized irradiation of butadiene. So you can see in the reaction, trans and cisbutadiene. On irradiation in the presence of sensitizer, first, second and third dimers are formed. Moreover, the composition of the dimer mixture varies with the triplet energy of the sensitizers employed to populate the T1 state of butadiene. When benzophenone is used as sensitizer, the dimers are formed, that is first, second, third dimers are formed in the ratio 80, 16 and 4 percent. Well, when we use benzyl as photosensitizer, then the dimers for second, third are formed in the ratio 49, 8 and 43 percent. The T1 states of butadienes are of lower energy than the T1 of benzophenone. So, triplet energy transfer takes place efficiently to both the butadiene conformers. So here uh, you can see the reaction transbutadiene plus triplet benzophenone energy transfer is taking place and triplet butadiene is formed and benzophenone returns to ground state. Again the same reaction is taking place with the cis conformer cisbutadiene plus triplet state of benzophenone energy transfer take place and triplet state of butadiene is formed plus benzophenone returns to ground state. The trans triplet of butadiene is formed predominantly because the diene is mostly trans. The reaction of the trans triplet with S butadiene leads to an intermediate biradical you can see here in this uh, reaction so um, in which both the allylic units have the trans configuration and so a cyclization leading to first and second is favored so here you can see in the first reaction trans triplet reacting with s transbutadiene an intermediate biradical is formed and uh, 
this intermediate leads to cyclization and first and second dimers are formed. Now in the next reaction, the reaction of cis triplet with a molecule of S transbutadiene leads to a, a bi radical in which one allylic unit has cis configuration which undergoes cyclization to form product dimer third. So here you can see the reaction. Now this completes the photochemistry of a butadiene. Now next comes the rearrangement reactions. The rearrangement of 1,4-diene. The rearrangement of 1,4-diene reaction is a concerted reaction and its efficiency and mechanism depends upon the nature of substrate. The photochemical rearrangement in 1,4-diene system involves a 1,2 shift with closing the ring and thus forms a vinyl cyclopropane. For acyclic and monocyclic compounds, the single species is the reactive species and the reaction is stereospecific at all centers with retention at C1 and C5 and inversion at C3. This rearrangement is also known as dipymethane rearrangement. So here is an example of the rearrangement in 1,4-pentadiene. So this is also as uh, just now we told this is also known as dipy methane rearrangement. You can see there are two pi bonds and the third carbon is CH2. And the final product which is formed is vinyl cyclopropane. So these are the things which you need to remember. So you need to study the mechanism. 1,4 pentadiene we are taking. On irradiation, a biradical is formed. Pi pi star transition is taking place and the bond formation between C2 and C4 is taking place. Uh, you can see the second biradical is formed. Now this biradical bond breaking takes place between C3 and C4. Well, the bond can break between C2 and C3 also. In both ways, it can take place. Here we have shown bond breaking between C3 and C4 and the product th intermediate third is formed which we can write in either way and this intermediate on cyclization leads to formation of cyclic product that is vinyl cyclopropane and this is a major product which is formed. So this is the rearrangement in 1,4 pentadiene. So this completes your photochemistry of alkenes. Thank you so much.